So let's talk about pregnancy monitoring for a few minutes, okay? okay. I think this is important. We went over it um, before the surgery, um, <coughs> you know, when you came in and we had the preoperative discussion, but I like to remind people about this. When your period is late, run a home pregnancy test. And when you get a positive uh, pregnancy test, besides letting your OB doctor know that you're pregnant, uh, I'd like you to let me know right away. Okay. <clears throat> uh, you can use the pregnancy report form on our website for that. It's a pretty simple form. It just asks, you know, for your name, uh, when the last menstrual period started, the date of the positive pregnancy test, a few questions like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's one of the ways we document all the pregnancies that occur, you know, to our patients and we keep this information in a computerized database. So once I get your report, which it will come to me as soon as you file it, you know, it'll, it'll come to me and then I'll respond to you to let you know I've received it. Uh, I'll let our nurses, our two reversal nurses, know that you're pregnant so that everybody's informed. And uh, we will then want to follow along with you during the next couple of weeks of your pregnancy uh, because you should be doing what, what I call early pregnancy monitoring. And that's um, checking your the uh, blood level of the pregnancy hormone HCG. You'll do that twice a week. Uh, and then when the HCG level reaches between 1,500 to 2,000, uh, we want you to have a vaginal ultrasound exam. And that's the earliest time at which a pregnancy can be documented in the uterus. Uh, what, what a normal pregnancy will show at that point is a little dark round structure called a gestational sac. <clears throat> we have all this information summarized on our website on the page that says I'm pregnant. Okay. I think you've looked at that before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, like that. And also that's where the uh, you can see the link to the um, pregnancy report form. So the whole idea of the early pregnancy monitoring is to try to document as quickly as possible that a pregnancy is developing normally and is in the uterus because one of the risks of tubal surgery is that there can be an increased chance of having a tubal pregnancy and if a tubal pregnancy is allowed to stay in the tube uh, eventually it can rupture through the tube and start to bleed and then turn into the need for immediate surgery that can be potentially dangerous uh, you can wind up losing the tube if that happens but that's always easily preventable if you follow the early pregnancy monitoring protocol because once you've you know, once we see the uh, gestational sac in the uterus, then we know this is an intrauterine pregnancy. Okay? That usually happens within two weeks of the time you miss your period. Okay. okay. It's important to let your OBGYN doctor know about this uh, because some doctors don't routinely see their obstetrical patients until they've already reached uh, maybe eight or ten weeks but we don't want you to wait that long. We want your monitoring to start immediately. Otherwise, you know, and that's when a, a type of pregnancy could be missed. We appreciate your referral to, with us too because we want, went ahead and got that set up. Did you? With oh, uh, Doctor, what was the doctor's? Doctor Tucker? No. Duncan. Doctor Duncan. Doctor uh -huh. Duncan, yes. So you've already set up your appointment mm -hmm. with him? Yeah. Excellent. So don't get to know him. Yeah, I think you'll like him. That's so. great. And he's very close to the house too. So Great.